If you are wondering what to buy on a pistol round for Sentinels, well, we're gonna break it down. Welcome to Lotus Lab 81, I think. So today we're gonna be talking about what to buy on a pistol round for attack and defense for the Sentinels. This is gonna be the first episode because, as you know, we're gonna do this for every single class, but we start with the Sentinels because I feel like there's too many questions about the Sentinels. So let's start first with Chamber. Chamber on pistol round, for me, okay, remember this is my opinion and I would always buy it this way, is I buy trap and I buy four bullets for a chamber on both attack and defense. Now the reason for that is because of economy. What I like about having the bullets in is that you, let's say it this way, they are the strongest possible bullet that you can have equipped on a pistol round because essentially you know it's sheriff and it's much more accurate than a sheriff you can literally like crab walk and have full accuracy um and you have you still have a trap so you have the best of the two worlds you're still a sentinel with a trap but you have the sheriff equipped so you can go for body shots you can always look like in my eyes when you play against an opposing team pay attention to what what kind of characters are playing against you because you can make an assumption on how many players will have small shields like for example a, a sage will always have small shields because he should always have a wall that means body shotting with chamber or a sheriff doesn't make sense for her it's better to go for a headshot for that player but if you play against characters that are more inclined to have no shields then body tapping them with the chamber bullets actually makes sense right so the reason why i buy the four bullets for both attack and defense is i try my best with getting a kill but if i tp out or i can i get i die just instantly or something happens then i don't lose the gun because i will still have the bullets with me most likely right and typically in one round you don't really shoot more than four bullets like unless you spam it mindlessly but that's not the point right so you just use it more deliberately so essentially you have a possibility of building up your economy because then if you win the pistol round you can buy yourself a marshal, for example, right, if you want to play that, and just play that, and then for the round three for bonus, if you died with the marshal, you still have the bullets, you can buy more bullets that you can use on the bonus round. So the chamber is all about saving up for the operator on kind of on, on attack as well, and even if you don't go for the operator on attack, you're able to buy more vandals because of the way that you, you utilize the bullets typically, right? So... If you play Sheriff on a chamber, I always consider it a mistake because why on earth are you playing just chamber with a Sheriff? You have the possibility of having a better Sheriff in your utility and you don't have a trap if you buy a Sheriff. So why do you even play a Sentinel at this point, right? That trap is needed every round. Like whenever you play attack or defense, you need to use your trap every single round and there's also consideration of buying a ghost with with a trap but i'll be honest with you the only reason if i would have if i would ever want to buy a ghost for a pistol round it would be uh i'm playing against a team that has four characters that will have half shields for pistol round because then the ghost is more efficient than just having bullets on a on a headhunter right because headhunter then has to go for the headshots instead of for body shots um so yeah that's chamber now killjoy killjoy is one of the characters that is so weird because on defense it's very simple you go two nanosomes shields and you essentially just play with the nanosomes on the side and you try to stall the potential push on your side right specifically like on maps like ascend that is very standard you just want to make sure that you stall for the first execute or just separate the players so you get some chip damage and maybe kill the jet that is dashing alone on you right and you when you utilize that with a turret on contact for the nanosomes it's pretty awesome so i don't really consider this like changeable because why on earth would you go one nanosome and lava bot when you have the turret, right? Unless you really want to control another lane. But what I learned in ranked is that you should just care about yourself when it comes to holding a site because it's so rough to hold a site as a sentinel. Like either people are not coming to you or they're always coming to you. So you need to have your all of your utility pieces equipped for yourself so you can be efficient. That's my approach to gaming on sentinels. Now, when it comes to the attack, and that's kind of interesting because I would say that Killjoy most useful utility piece is the turret. 
And the turret is essentially like a flank holder. So the other piece of utility that you have, a lava bot is not really useful in a pistol round, while uh, the nano swarm is like, you can check one corner with it. So if you want to be a player that is like trying to get into site and help to execute, going ghost and nano swarm is nice, but going for a sheriff and just trying to kill people is also like easier if you know that you can go for the body hits because on pistol rounds you can just abuse people who don't play shields right with the uh with the sheriff so i would consider i would consider killjoy being one of the two characters that is actually pretty good with the sheriff on the opening round on attack and that that like playing on contact with the sheriff on the turret is also pretty awesome just remember if you are lurking on a killjoy i would always prefer to have ghost because typically if you're a good lurker you're gonna get space in a way that you're gonna encounter opponents who are with their back or side to you and they're incredibly hard to hit if they move erratically because they don't anticipate your position so you can easily miss bullets and if you have a sheriff and you miss that well then it's a rip right so if you try to lurk more then i would suggest to have a ghost because it's more consistent while lurking right uh all right let's go for uh cypher cypher in my eyes has completely two different buys for both defense and attack i like on attack to be a little bit more like let's say aggressive um oops what happened here uh aggressive on the way that i play so i go for the ghost uh, and one trap, one cage. The cage will help you either executing by cutting off one corner or by uh, lurking and cutting off a trap potentially or just like cut, shutting off uh, one piece of the map, right? So this is like very consistent uh, way of playing the cypher and this is my go-to in most cases unless I play split on attack because then I go for the defense by for both attack and defense. The reason for that is, let me open Valor Plant and I'll show you. The reason for that is when I play Cypher on, on split on attack, uh, there's a very standard way of playing um, Cypher, but there's a reason for it because it's super efficient. So when you go A, you're able to put a trap over here, right? And then from the box over here, uh, you can put a Cypher cage like this, Cypher cage, like this and that gives you a lot of disruption and lurk possibilities going into a because you can pop those and deny the vision right so and you don't even have to be there to create the pressure with that which i do value a lot also remember when you play uh cypher in general on full by runs when you have two traps what you can achieve is you can go to split a run here throw this trap over here you just have to learn where do you have to place it to be on the crouching eye uh, spot like you throw it from here and then you run back to b and you're able to do that before the barrier drops so you have a setup uh a trap on a while playing for like mid or b at the same time just a off topic but that's a possibility now sage there's nothing that you should ever buy on a pistol round for Sage than a wall and a shield. There's literally no other reason to go for anything else because the shield, sorry, the wall is the strongest piece of utility specifically on the pistol round because it has so much HP that if it builds up fully, opponents are struggling to destroy it on a pistol round and it not only depletes the ammo very heavily but most importantly, just takes so much time to destroy it and the wall is great for retakes great for having safe plants so you have a lot of possibilities with it it's very um very flexible as well so no other option than buying the wall and the shields for uh sage now when it comes to deadlock if you watched my previous video i consider deadlock absolute dog poop so it's kind of similar to um, the buy on attack. It's kind of similar to Killjoy, but not because her piece of utility is so good that the turret just kind of is in enough to warrant control of the map, and then you can go for a sheriff for kills, right? Deadlock's utility is just so bad that you should go for you for guns to make your kills easier on attack, because 
the trap is you cannot hold the flank so you can only use it on sites for example right the wall is for free so whatever and there's absolutely zero reason like zero reason it's a wasted credits to buy the grenade like unless you have too much cash don't buy the grenade ever just save that credit don't use it don't replenish it right so that would be my advice and then on defense on defense is actually pretty good because you can set up a very strong uh fortification on your site going for shields and two traps i think it's optimal and you're able to control the entire side play of the contact of the traps and they are very hard to like if placed correctly they are very hard to go through without baiting them out like with some stuff like let's say wing oh wait wingman got fixed so only yoru clone is like actually able to do that well if there's a race she's gonna break it most likely so remember to put them in a place they that race doesn't break easily but in general those are the buys that i would go for for sentinels i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're gonna go for the next classes in the next episodes uh there's gonna be a link to this uh, compendium um in the description if you are on the twitch chat then you can just type an exclamation mark compendium and have access to this because i'm updating this with all the informations like this on agent uh roles on defaulting on the pistol round buys now and i'm also working on the uh smokes compendium as well thank you for watching leave a comment if you liked it and if you didn't like it well then fuck off <laughs>